Rick and Kareen, this was a massive fire. It all started around 4 o'clock this afternoon. And once firefighters knocked down the flames, investigators found at least one person who was dead inside. They also found a cache of weapons and ammunition. Now, investigators have been out here all day and will be out here all throughout the night. LAPD, the bomb squad, ATF, all on scene. They're systematically searching the property slowly to avoid any other detonations. A massive inferno erupting in this quiet Selmar neighborhood, followed by rapid gunfire. It just sounded like a machine gun was going off, and the intensity and the frequency it was going off was um, really strange for that time of night, and then it stopped. And then a few minutes later, it just started up again, but like in higher intensity, higher frequency. It just felt like, you know, we were under fire. Misha Armada was staying at her parents' house next door. That's when I freaked out, turned off my light, <clears throat> slouched down, crawled over to the window. My dog's freaking out, went into the um, closet. And that's when I saw this um, actual fire, like an inferno of just red and orange against the um, night sky. It was wild. Firefighters arriving almost immediately, but it was too late. The main home on the property was fully involved, including two other structures and likely ammunition firing off from the flames and investigators finding a gruesome discovery. We anticipate it being an adult male, but we cannot confirm that at this point. Um, then as we continued our overhaul phase of ensuring complete extinguishment from smoldering debris, we came across an adult female in the pool that was deceased. Misha says the property is expansive, nearly two acres. I always figured it's kind of like a horse ranch. It's a very equestrian community, so there's horses, there's peacocks. She's thankful for the quick response, but devastated for the family. I know that they have a lot of, uh, you know, animals over there, so... Worried about them too? Of course, yeah. And right now, investigators are combing the scene and trying to get more information of what caused this deadly destruction. And we're also hearing that a dog was killed as a result of this fire. We are live in Silmar. Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News. All right, Jen, we thank you for that.